believes that IT security is really important for both individuals and organizations. We all know that Singapore is among the, the top tier countries that are very, very digitally advanced and in terms of IT infrastructure or adoption of modern technologies, they are in the leading edge. But recently, Singapore government announced that they are going to cut internet access to all civil servants at work in order to prevent from any potential cyber attacks or to protect the government data. Uh, the IT security module covers the essential skills that both uh, um, individuals and, and uh, individuals as workers uh, need to have so that they can use IT security. Uh, so it's crucial that people are equipped appropriately to prevent your own data and your organization's data from being compromised. I think there is a huge difference of learning experience between a certification program and an informal training only kind of program. The certification program would give you a very clear goal at the beginning and also set up the structured a detailed lesson plan for you to achieve that goal and that brought to this kind of conclusion that I think uh, seriously if anyone wants to learn something at the end certification is always the type of learning you should try. So we've always included IT security as a core component of our certification program however in 2010 what we saw was that there was an increasing uh, threat level associated with personal data uh, so we felt that there was a need to create a specific solution that focused on IT security uh, threats. Um, and a couple of years later we decided that because of the dynamic nature of the environment, the fact that threats change and are increasing, uh, that we needed to develop a new module and that's one that we have now, the version 2, and that particularly looks at the fact that there's ubiquitous use of mobile devices and increasing use of cloud storage actually opens up potentially new areas for threat. The main thing is if you want to learn more, go and do it, and you can do that by contacting your local uh, ECDL or ICDL national operator and they can point you in the right direction.